But what we're going to deal with today is a single question. And the question is, what methods or strategies did black women use to resist slavery? What we can do is divide these into four major categories of resistance. So today we'll be looking at everyday resistance, running away and marooning, which is one category, gynecological resistance, and what one scholar refers to as anti-intuitive resistance. Um, examples of the anti-intuitive, which is probably the one that you may not be familiar with, are things like self-mutilation and suicide. So those are basically the four main categories. If we take a look at clothing as an example of resistance, one of the things that you'll notice is that when slave women were given clothing, oftentimes the clothing was the same. They may have been given just a white, a white piece of cotton, and they had to fashion it either in the clothing that they wanted themselves or they had to, they were just simply given a piece of clothing. One of the things that you'll find that slave women sometimes did was to add color to that clothing. It may have been something as simple as taking it out and adding berries to it to give it some color. They also may have done things to change their head wraps, their headdress. So any of these little small things on a plantation where a master basically gives you a bolt of cloth and says make something, and tries to basically standardize what you're wearing, any little act of changing that in some ways can serve as one act of resistance. So when we talk about everyday resistance, these were the little things that women did on a daily basis to resist slavery. If we look at everyday resistance, we can divide those things into active resistance. We can divide them into passive resistance. Active resistance are going to be the things that are visible, the things that women would do like altering clothing. More passive resistance would be things that may not be readily available or readily visible to the master or for us sitting in the 21st century. Those are things that we may have to probe a little bit more that may seem problematic in terms of looking at it as an act of resistance. But nonetheless, we can define those in terms of active and passive forms of resistance when we look at everyday resistance. 